This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.7.9. Instructors can now upload local files as attachments when creating message posts in Activity Feed. To enable this feature for instructors, you must grant the Upload Files permission in the Manage Files tool at the course offering level. Note, files uploaded for message posts are stored in the Manage Files area of a course. Now, when instructors add private files from a Google Drive account to Brightspace Learning Environment, they are notified if the file is private and are given the option to change your permissions so that anyone with the link can view the file. From anywhere in Brightspace Learning Environment, where you can add a file from Google Drive, click Google Drive. Navigate to and select the file you want to add. If the file is private, you will see a notification that gives you the option to change permissions so that anyone with the link can view the file. Parents can now view a child's final course grades and grade feedback from the instructor using Brightspace for Parents. From the Recent Grades widget, click View All Grades. From the Learner's Grades page, find the applicable course and grade item and click View Feedback. To read the text feedback the instructor provided on the grade item, you can now turn on the new D2L, Tools, Parent Portal, and Parent Digest Enabled configuration variable, which allows parents to choose if they would like to receive a weekly email summary of their child's activity in Brightspace. In the new Brightspace Portfolio Settings page, you can now configure whether the course displays portfolio funsters or profile photos to represent learners whether evidence uploaded by learners using a web interface requires instructor approval before it is visible, and whether evidence uploaded to the course using the Portfolio in-class mobile app requires instructor approval before it is visible. Learners can now use their own mobile devices to capture evidence instead of using a shared classroom device. To use the Bring Your Own Device feature, you must download the Brightspace Portfolio app from the App Store or Google Play. For more information, please see the Brightspace Portfolio Bring Your Own Device video tutorial for learners. Instructors can now create their own categories for Brightspace Portfolio evidence and can access those categories in all their classes. From Evidence in a Learner's Portfolio, navigate to the Evidence Categories section, then click Add Category. Enter a name for the category and click Add. Instructors can now add private comments to evidence submitted by learners into Brightspace Portfolio. From a learner's evidence in Brightspace Portfolio, click Teacher Only. Then, click Add a Private Note and enter a message for yourself. When you are ready, click Add. Instructors can now either include or exclude exempted users in quiz statistics via an exemptions log data set and an option on the View Statistics page. From Quizzes, click Statistics. Then, click the quiz you want to view the statistics for. On the View Statistics page, you now have the option to either include or exclude exempted users in quiz statistics. You can now add a link to Intelligent Agents to the navbar. Additionally, a link to Intelligent Agents has been added to Class Progress. Now, when you create or edit a navbar, click Add Links. You can add a link to the existing agent list page. Additionally, from Class Progress, there is now a link to the Intelligent Agents tool. Instructors can now use the Post a Course homepage option in Lessons to create assignment posts to add to their activity feed. This allows assignment posts to be created easily and increases the visibility of upcoming assignments for learners. From an assignment in Lessons, click the Options menu and select Post a Course Homepage. Instructors can now schedule posts to display at a specific date and time when using the Post a Course Homepage option in Lessons. Now, when you create a post for Activity Feed in Lessons, Click Post Later and choose a date and time that you want the post to become available to learners. When you are ready, click Schedule Post. 
Then click Save. An icon in the table of contents shows that the post is scheduled. Additionally, the same icon appears in the content and includes a description of when the information will be posted. Now, you can force instructors to use the new quizzing experience by setting the default state for the D2L, Tools, Quizzes, New Experience Opt-in configuration variable to on. Learners will notice an updated quizzing experience where they do not need to confirm the start or submission of a quiz multiple times. This feature implements PyItem D288.